Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing good today. Today, actually the other day and today, I've been doing some cleaning up around the house. So there used to be all kinds of there's box blade, brush hogs sitting over here next to these trees. But I have moved all that from here way over there by the neighbor's fence. Pretty much pushing everything to the outskirts of our property here to kind of clean it up right here close to the house because it's just starting to close in on us and I don't like that. I'm trying to stay ahead of the game, if you will. So one of the projects that I'm gonna to do today, and I created a time lapse for you of me doing it, is creating a, a forklift hitch, if you will, to help me move trailers. unloaded my scrap bin on the trailer and a couple of other things that I'm getting rid of water heater out of the building old bicycles yes I used to be a BMX dude and I've been hanging on to them bikes for all these years even though I live on a farm now and don't have time to ride a bike don't live in town and so I'm finally letting go of those I'm super thankful for my buddy Jared I hope that wind isn't too bad my buddy Jared that has his tractor down here we're more or less storing it for him uh, in our barn and and so therefore I can I can use it and it's been super handy uh, I should have got a piece of equipment a long time ago how about those airplanes hello where are you
where you at? Yeah, I should have got a piece of equipment a long time ago. Here's some more junk. This entrance that I built, that's got to be almost two years ago, that I built for a guy It's supposed to be going to New Mexico. Still been here at the house. I've reminded him once. Uh, he must just be really busy, but it's ready. The entrance is ready. And I moved it over here versus up there next to them trees where I worked on that old welding bed. Again, just kind of to the outskirts of, uh, well, this isn't the outskirts. But anyway, away from the house. And then the pipe underneath it is to build the gate once he installs, has a local welder install the overhead entrance. So that pipe's just waiting on him. And then brought the welding skid over here that needs a welder. The pipe that I got from Kenny. This table. Moved it all out here. I need to get some weed killer and spray around it. That way it doesn't, the grass doesn't grow up around all this mess. I just need to get organized around here. And because it helps me have a, you know, a, a, like a peace of mind. It makes me feel more calm and organized whenever I look out the back door of our house over here. So uh, just doing some organizing built that hitch and after I built that hitch I raised a feeder these feeders have been around a really long time and whenever I fixed this one up I took like parts off of an older one that was more wore out and I just put the legs I added cut the old legs off because they were rotten and I put new legs on and I made it shorter for some reason. I don't remember why, that's been a couple years ago. But it was too short and the cows were, the steers that we feed out here for our beef program were stepping in it and, and it's dangerous because their hooves slide around on that metal. So while I had the tractor out, I went ahead and added six inches to this feeder. So therefore it's going to be two foot high now instead of, uh, what would that be, 18 inches high? Now let's go look at the finished feeder. There's the first welding truck that I ever had. Let's go look at the finished feeder sitting in the lot in here. Upright. Since I didn't get any footage of me carrying it back here. There it is. Six inch pup. And then I went ahead and added a middle section like you just seen. The feeder out in the pasture, out yonder way, has pipe running from, has a run running from on the outside here. But I didn't take the time to put all that in. So anyway, there it is, raised feeder. Now they don't get tempted to step in there. I cut this hole a little bigger too so water would drain out a lot easier because it did just have a, a slit right here and I always had to take my pocket knife and kind of run out the dirt and a little bit of feed that was left in here so the water would drain easier. Anyway there it is, raised feeder. And we got the cows that we sorted the other day out here living a happy life, enjoying the day. I don't know where these guys are at, they're out here somewhere loafing probably We've got lots of plans for back here these are temporary panels right here temporary gate in other words there's no post in the ground or like solid posts they're just t post there's t post behind here and there's a t post up there a little ways all that to say is these are just panels held up by t post and we need to put this in solid. And then, and then we'll put this in solid back here also. But I wanna put in a 12 foot gate running this way because we sort them back here a lot of times. And it would be nice to close them off right here in this pin where we're standing here. So I need to hang a gate there 12 foot gate and then I want to cut in I was just going to cut in a walkthrough gate because there's a lot of times where I feed this lot and then I want to walk straight over here to check the water but I got to walk all the way down here through that gate and so but I think I'm going to go ahead and just cut in a 
it's an odd number here it's like roughly 17 foot between 17 and 18 foot but i want to cut out essentially cut out that post and hang a gate right here that way we can uh, get cows from this lot to this lane a lot easier and so i can walk through it to go check water so put in some new solid fence the plan is to do two and seven eighths post i went ahead and cut some of those to length also and then two and seven eighths top rail with either sucker rod or like smooth barbed wire or pipe if well, you got enough material it'd be nicer to just pipe it all in what up dude so that's the plan here put in a permanent fence right in here and then a gate right here at the, at the end so we can get cows from this pasture into this middle lane the idea is to always have a, a corner to to get them in from the pasture use that corner as a funnel if you will so anyway that's kind of the game plan of what we want to do around here a couple of the projects we want to do i could go on and on i could be here all day telling you about the stuff i want to modify but plenty of fence work to do here on the here on the farm here on the headquarters where we live here homestead whatever you want to call it I can't forget this y'all have a good day later dudes i mean all this right here i had a bunch of my junk right here in front of our red shack where the speed truck is parked so i had to park the feed truck on the concrete over here and it just is always and see there's still stuff on my pad right here that drives me crazy but the fact of the matter is is i kind of just need more space and more organizational like racks and stuff to put metal uh that's a that's a thing in itself with with any business but especially welding business is a uh, treating your welding business like a business that way it's profitable that way you can afford to organize because not only does that add value to you and your your team you and your employees but it also adds value to your customers because you're organized it don't take you as long to get to your material and whatnot you know having a piece of equipment is adding value to your uh, team and customers also you know so that's what i mean by i should have had a piece of equipment a long time ago but uh it's all a work in progress we're learning we're working on ourselves not only here but right here and uh, just working on the business also so uh, it's all a work in progress and uh, just thought I'd share a little bit so yeah just wanted to jump on here and share kind of what I had going on what we have going on around here um, my goal I said this in a short and I, and I want to start sharing it more uh, for those of you that don't know my goal is to help you live a better quality of life so one of the ways that i'm going to try to start doing that is by sharing what i learned in hopes that it helps you what i learned through my like uh like my life journey you know my personal struggles as much as i can right now you know obviously i can't share everything um but but as much as i can because i know that it will help some of you and at least that's my goal i'm pretty sure it will but i, I hope it does help some of you um and so that's why I just wanted to share because work, personal, it's all tied together for me. I mean, I talked about this in another video, but all my, everything that I see out here that I have created, my welding truck, the junk piles, everything, it's all tied to, to uh, deep rooted stuff uh, within myself. So um, I'm excited to be uh, inspired through the learning that I've been doing, the self uh, help that I've been getting. I go to therapy once a week. But I've been doing a lot of self-help and that's been helping me and it's coming out and uh, I'm excited about that. And so whenever I find so much joy in self-help, I want so bad just to share that with you because I would feel bad if I didn't because I feel so, so joyful about what's going on with me personally. You know? And that's not to say that I'm not, uh, that I don't struggle at all, but as far as like getting these spurts of inspiration and organization and learning that's exciting to me and i just want to share that with you so uh yeah just wanted to share this video a little update video about what projects we had going on and kind of the organization and uh that i want to start doing that is tied to the service based welding business and whatnot um 
so yeah, hope it helps. I hope you have an awesome weekend. If you want to support us here at A Ross Welding in any way, you can do that by shopping at our online store, arosswelding.com. You can do that by buying our online courses, and just by watching our videos, liking our videos, sharing our videos. It all helps, and we greatly appreciate your support. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Have an awesome weekend. Drink plenty of coffee. <laughs> and remember, learn something every day. We'll see you next Friday, 5 o'clock Central Time, and possibly in the shorts. Check out the shorts here on the channel. I've been trying to post more of those also to answer frequently asked questions. So we'll see you in the shorts, or we'll see you next Friday. Thanks for watching.